What is up YouTube, my name is Alex Benega and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the top three products on Product Hunt. We'll go over them. I'm a UI UX designer for those of you who are new to the channel. So I'll be giving my honest opinion on the website, the branding and everything. So let's dive straight into this. All right, so we have Designer Hunt, a place to follow and learn from the best designers. Okay, let's check it out then. Let's see who's on here. All right, so off the rip, um, I do like the design. It's simple. I guess you can scroll. It has like a cute little hover effect where it just makes the photo have color, right? And then when you're obviously not on it, it, it makes it black and white. So that's cool. I see all these little uh, side panels. I go over the navigation. So if you're looking for who's the best icon designer, logo designer, lettering designer, I take it that's what this does. Cool. I mean, overall, for judging, before I start scrolling, before, you know, if we're judging on the website, it's nice. The website's clean, aesthetically it's pleasing, very easy to navigate, and this is this should be, uh, you know, you can pull this out of your book. If, you, if you're working on a product or something like this, this is easy to understand. I'm not confused, simple sidebar, and then I have the content that I want to see right in front of me, and I can scroll, so easy to understand. Off the jump, to be honest, I don't know any of these designers. I've been on Dribble now for five years. I, his name rings a bell. Um, but let's keep scrolling until I find somebody I know. Uh, okay, I still don't know anybody here. And then Mo. Okay, so Mo is actually a friend of mine. Uh, he's a great designer. We, we, he, wor he worked at Spoke after I worked at Spoke for a little bit. And he actually is crazy with JavaScript. So if you guys aren't familiar with his work, he has some nice work. So overall, I mean, this is awesome. I'm not going to scroll to see if I made the list. Uh, cause probably I didn't, to be honest, these guys are, I think, I think I've seen him before. I think he has over a hundred K followers on dribble. So I don't know who made the list, but overall, I think if you're coming to this website to, you know, check out some amazing designers, maybe even like reach out to them or something. I definitely, re uh, recognize some, some amazing talent on here. So shout out to this really cool. So designer hunt definitely gets my upvote. And wish them the best. Now, product IID. Let's check this out. Protect your privacy and single-use email address. Okay. I'm not, I, I don't know what this does. Generate random strings. At the, the, learn to protect your internet identity. What's a single-use email? Uh, for example, it exposes your name. Okay, so I guess if you're like scared of, of like privacy or you're a conspiracy theorist or something like that, you don't want your name in your email, this is just a generator, I guess, to do so. If you're like buying stuff on Amazon, I don't get caught up in all that conspiracy stuff. And they wanna come hunt me down for whatever it is I did anyone in this world wrong, come and do it, I'm not hard to find. I'm the least hardest person to find on this planet, so. Um, I wouldn't see this as a service, but you know, a lot of people are concerned about their privacy these days, so I can see why someone made it. As far as the design, we're not even gonna grade this. This is more of like a blog than a, than a website. Um, cute little logo, right? Privacy, eyes, cool. I can't really grade this, to be honest. So the last one we have is Google Forms Alternative with a focus on privacy. Okay, so it's a form. Okay, cool. Forms that ID. We put privacy first and offer secure alternatives. Okay, so I don't see, I don't know, I don't understand this. If someone's gonna come for you, they, they're gonna come for you. Like, I don't know what's, why everyone's trying to protect their identity or, or use a mask to hide their email or phone number or real name. Like, I don't know, that, that's too much for me. I'd rather you just come and get me than, than you know, deal with all the, the ruckus of trying to recreate different accounts with numbers and shit in them that I can't even remember how to type in all just you know hopefully not get caught doing something so I don't know overall this website though is nice I do like a little pattern in the back um, the product right here it actually looks very clean very clean um, nice and simple and then as you scroll down you know the very simple but it's it, it's short right short and crisp there's not a lot of content so I you know honestly the only people that are probably gonna use this, because I use Typeform when I'm using forms, that are, I don't use Google Forms, but the only people that would probably use this are the people that are scared for their life, that Amazon's listening to them, Amazon knows their name, 
Google, you know, is low key has five people watching them right now through the uh, laptop camera. So I, I don't see anyone else, in, you know, using this because Typeform for me works amazing. So that was actually very short and simple. I appreciate the simplicity of the stuff uh, today. It's a Friday, not really a huge day on Product Ton, but what can you say? So. Overall, designer hunt, go check it out. If you guys want to you know, ask designers for something, go see who does what, who's the top dog in, in each category, I would definitely check that out. And I saw some people I recognize, so they're not just pulling random photos. It's, this is credible. Protect ID, n no comment there. I, unless, like I said, you're a conspiracy theorist or you're scared for your life putting in your email anywhere, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be using that. And then forms ID, same thing as protect iid still don't see a need for it i love typekit so that's all we have for today youtube if you guys want me to review a product you can email me in the email below but until next time youtube i'm out